Hey teachers, there's this awesome website that I want to show you called classroomscreen.com. This is the perfect website to have up on your smart board or just on your projector, even if you don't have a smart board. So this is classroomscreen.com. Uh, first of all, you can change the language. So if you are a bilingual teacher, you can change this to Spanish and then back to English. And you can also change the background. So there's a lot of different landscapes and other scenes that you can choose from. There are also some GIFs over here on this side. So these are moving pictures. So it might show water flowing or a waterfall. There's also some that are a fireplace crackling or um, a bonfire. And then you can also choose to just have it a solid color. Down here, we can um, have it change. So it's just constantly going to be flipping through some of the random backgrounds. I'm going to set it on solid for now. All right, the first tool right here is a random name picker. So it's easy to type in your student name. and then click choose. So it's just a random name picker. Now, once I close out of this window, these are gonna go away. So I can click here to save my list. From there, I can click this button to pull in my list. So if I already have it saved somewhere, which I do, I can just click there and now I've pulled up my previous list to use. So it's really quick to pull in your list, even if the names go away when you close the window. This is also a dice roll, so I can choose one, two, or three dice, and then click roll. And I can easily go back and forth. If I wanna have both of those up there, I can click this plus one button. So now they're both random name pickers, but I can change one to be a dice roll or have it both be a dice roll, either way. If I want just the second one to go away, I'm going to click the minus one. And if I want them to all go away, I just click this button again. This next tool is the sound level of the classroom. So when you first pull it up, it's going to have the instructions. It does tell you that you need to be using either Chrome or Firefox. This entire website does work best in Google Chrome, so I would highly recommend using that. And it'll also work on Safari if you're using an iPad. So we're just gonna click Start. Right now I have my microphone plugged in and I'm talking right into it. And so it says that the voice level is really loud right now. Uh, if that happens, I can change the sensitivity. And so now the microphone isn't as sensitive. I can also increase the sensitivity. So if the microphone on my computer isn't pulling, um, isn't really getting the sound that it should be getting, then I can increase the sensitivity. And then this is telling students what the voice level should be. So we don't want the voice level of the classroom to be above three. And I can change that. So I can decrease it here, go down to two. I can also increase it. And then this is the ring. Uh, so if students get above the voice level, then it makes a little dinking sound just to warn them. And then to make this box go away, I just click on sound level again. The first time you use this, it is going to have a pop-up up here that's going to ask you to use the microphone. So just click allow for that. This next one is a QR code. So by default, it's going to pull up the QR code for this website, classroomscreen.com. So students could use it on their own iPads. And there are some tools here that students would be able to use on their own. Um, I can change this QR code. So if there's a website that I want my students to go to, all I have to do is copy the URL, paste it here, and then hit enter. And it changed this QR code. So now it'll take them to wherever I want them to go. And I can have more than one of these up here. 
and then I'll just click there to make it go away. This first drawing tool will set the whole background as a whiteboard. So I can choose my pencil to write. I can decrease the size of it and change the color or increase the size. This circle is an eraser and the X will get rid of all of the writing. These down here are your different background options. So right now it's on the whiteboard. You can also change it to a blackboard. This one with the red line through it will make it so that it's transparent. So whatever background image you had chosen will be shown right here. And then there's some other options as well, whether you're graphing or drawing or writing on notebook paper. And then I'll click that to make it go back. I can also have a smaller drawing tool. So this one just pulls up a smaller one that we can write on while still seeing the background and having other tools going as well. So I can have more than one. This next tool is a text box, so I can type in instructions for my students. And I can have more than one going. This next one is work symbols. It's pretty neat. Um, so you can click here to say, OK, the class needs to be silent or you're allowed to whisper. Ask your neighbor if you need help and work together. And you can have more than one of these going. So maybe I want my students to be on silent, but I want you to ask your neighbor if you need help. This is the traffic light. So it's easy to click on to change the color of the light. And there's a few different ways to use this. Maybe if you're working with a small group, you can say green means you're allowed to come and ask me a question or red means don't bother me or yellow. If there's an emergency, then you can ask me a question. Students can also have this pulled up on their own iPad. So while they're working independently, green means I'm OK, I'm good, I understand everything. Yellow, I am a little confused. I could use some help, but I can keep working in the meantime. And red is just, I really don't understand it and I need help now. This next tool is a timer. So I can increase the time and then click play. And now my hourglass is counting down. Once it gets down to zero, then it has a little chime that goes off. And then I can change it to a stopwatch as well. So now it's counting up. And like most of these, I can have more than one going. And the last tool is a clock. So here it's got the time in both digital and analog. And then if I click this little calendar, it'll pull up today's date. And like I said before, you can have multiple um, tools going at the same time. So maybe I wanna keep today's date and time up here. But then I also want to say what the work symbol is. I want to have my directions for students pulled up, the sound level, and my name picker. And sometimes they might go behind another one, so you just have to move them around. If you find that you're kind of running out of space, you can make this toolbar go away by clicking this button here with the arrow down. And then I can quickly pull it back up by clicking that same button. I can also make this go full screen. So if you already have a bunch of tools up here, it might take it some time uh, to get pulled up full screen. And then I can click that same button to make it go back down to normal size. And it's taking it a sec because I do have things on there. 
the last tool that I'm going to show you or the last feature that I'm going to show you is this right here. It is an exit poll. So that's going to open up a new tab. It's just a single question and you can make the question what you would like. The default um, is how did you enjoy this lesson or something like that? What did you think of today's lesson? But I can change it. I can say how do you feel about multiplication? And then students would just go up to the board and tap how they feel. And then I can show the results so I can see how my students feel about this. And then reset the results for the next class. And I can change it so that they have less options for this yes or no. So maybe I want to say, um, did you finish your assignment? And then yes or no. So I know if I need to give them more time next time. So that's all of the features. Uh, Classroom Screen does have this um, option over here where you can go to how it works and tips and tricks. And it just kind of explains how to do some different things and it gives you some other tricks such as putting an image in the text box and things like that. If you have any questions about this or you want to know more things that you can do with Classroom Screen, just let me know. I would be happy to come and help.